British films are once again scoring well in America. This time it's not just the big blockbuster films like Gandhi that are successful, but a new wave of low-budget productions like the film adaptation of E.M. Forster's novel A Room with a View. In America, as Tom Brook found out, that film is breaking box office records. Here's his report. It opened without any great fanfare at this cinema in New York almost four months ago. Since then, hundreds have queued up each day to watch the film. By last week, box office takings had passed the $1 million mark, making A Room With A View the fastest grossing film in this particular cinema's history. It's not only in New York that the film is doing well. In um, specialized cinemas across the country, it's breaking records everywhere. In small towns in America, you know, where people don't think of these kinds of films playing, they're breaking house records. Two lone females in an unknown city. Now that's what I call an adventure. Americans, it seems, are quite taken by this film adaptation of E.M. Forster's novel about Edwardian upper classes at home and abroad. I think it's very well done. It was just a delight. It was refreshing and lovely and pretty. I could watch it three more times just to look at the scenery. To celebrate the film's success in America and no doubt publicize it further, the producer yesterday held a brunch party in New York. Cast members had travelled the Atlantic to be there. I like certainly like enjoy the prerogatives of coming over for a weekend. Um, it's also not so nice to be a bit associated with something which is obviously giving so many people so, so much pleasure. It's just for some extraordinary reason hit the right note at the right time. For once, I think by accident, the producers, the directors, and everybody involved, and the writers were in the right place at the right time. Well, they have a certain originality to a certain style and a uniqueness, a visual uniqueness. The, 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 way it's, the way it's shot, the color scheme, the pacing, the pacing of it and all. And I think probably more importantly than the visual is the, uh, the acting and the writing. Uh, there's a premium on good writing in these films, and there has to be because uh, uh, they're low budget. These films, in a way, prove that you don't have to have a very large amount of money to produce quality films, don't they? Absolutely, absolutely. You need a good book, number one. You've got a good director and a good cast, and you're, that's all you need, really. If you stick to what you are good at, you'll always be successful. I mean, look at all the films that have been successful from England. I mean, you don't have to copy Americans to become successful. And perhaps the reason these new films are doing so well in America is simply because they are British. I'll tell you why. I love British films. I love your language. I love your expression. The way you speak, the language, of course, is the same as uh, the English that we speak here in America, except for your accent. I can listen to you people speak as well as if I were going to a symphony. And it's because of support like that that A Room With A View is expected to gross a whopping 15 million pounds at the American box office.